Hi everyone, this is Tamu. Welcome to my channel, The Cloud Security Guy. Uh, we talk on a weekly basis about things pertaining to cloud security, artificial intelligence, and general uh, cybersecurity advice. A few months back, I made a video, guys, on the metaverse, you know, and the potential cybersecurity risks that can, that might come out of it. That video actually became like, like a little bit popular, and I got a lot of questions on it. So I thought it would be good to make like a follow-up video on that, and uh, talk about specifically metaverse and how it relates to cloud computing. You know, the technology, the, how they're going to work together. And what it means for you, if you're into cloud computing, whether you're in cloud security or any of the other, but what you, the things that you need to keep in mind. So I thought it would be a good idea to make that topic on a video on that. So before we move ahead, guys, please do like and subscribe to this channel. Uh, share it if you can, comment on it if you can. It will really help the channel to grow and reach the maximum amount of subscribers. So before we move ahead, a uh, quick recap on what the metaverse is. So the metaverse is like a simulated digital environment, right? It uses things like augmented reality, virtual reality, things like blockchain, along with concepts from social media. To, it'll create like a digital space where people can interact with each other, just like the real world. So the concept did exist before, but just recently it got, it got like very, very popular because of what happened with Mark Zuckerberg. He said he's going to rebrand Facebook from a social media company into a metaverse company, right? And he will change the name of the company. And that really... It, it like really changed everything. It became a household name. Now everybody's talking about Meta. And some people say this is just empty hype. It's a new buzzword. It's going to go away. Well, if, if you believe that, you just need to look into the amount of money which countries like the UK, the UAE, they are putting into the Metaverse. How much in money they're investing in it. The Metaverse is going to define the future of the internet in the coming years. It's expected that nearly a 800 billion market is expected to be generated. I mean, uh, so just to give you an idea of what it means, okay? And if you've played things like World of Warcraft, Second Life, you know what Metaverse is, right? It's just the internet on steroids, where you can experience things in a connected digital world in 3D, and people will engage with each other. So let's uh, let's take a look at that. So what are the basic concepts of the Metaverse before we start? So a lot of people have this misconception. They think the Metaverse is just for video gaming, you know? You put on a headset and you're inside a video game. Uh, no, that's not it. The metaverse is completely outdated, that concept is. People are going to be from companies, whatever type of services you have, you're going to be inside a digital world, you're going to be represented using digital avatars, okay? And you're going to be things like use a headset, you can have meetings there, you can have virtual real estate there, people are going to be selling their services. Training, the training industry is going to be completely revamped based on that. That's just the tip of the iceberg, right? Training, military simulations, uh, cybersecurity, your virtual boardrooms, everything is going to change if this takes off. And uh, Metaverse is it's not going to be restrained by offline resources like on-premise. You can imagine if the if everything is shut down, you can't go out. You can just use the Metaverse to interact with everyone, right? It's gonna ha it's gonna really have a huge impact. So this is the things. These are the things which are on which the Metaverse is based on: virtual reality, augmented reality, digital avatars, virtual real estate, digital worlds. All these things are what makes the metaverse what it is and how, how it's going to be so important. So the metaverse in cloud computing. Now we know what the metaverse is. Let's talk about the technology that is going to drive it, which is cloud computing. Now the metaverse is going to be a huge, huge catalyst for cloud computing. It's going to make the cloud computing even more popular than it already is. Why? Well, simply put, there are a few reasons. The power and storage you need to host the metaverse will be beyond the reach of most companies to accomplish on-prem. The only feasible option will be to move to the cloud, right? A lot of the reasons that's why companies move to the cloud, so that they don't they don't want to do the workload on prem. The awesome power and reliability you have in the cloud is going to make it the ideal option for hosting metaverses. Uh, additionally, you know how the cloud is; it is elastic, it's a pay-as-you-go model. It's going to be very attractive for companies who want to create their own metaverses. You don't want to invest in expensive hardware, pro proprietary hardware for prototyping these sort of virtual worlds. Also. Metaverse, uh, metaverses are going to be graphic intensive, right? It's going to need the distributed architecture of the cloud because of the latency. Like you do, you, the cloud is spread out across the world, right? You have things like edge locations. So it's, uh, with the cloud, you can actually remove this latency. Anybody who's like, if you've ever like engaged in network gaming, you know, over the internet, you've played virtual games on the PlayStation Network, Xbox, you know how bad it is like if the bandwidth lags or there's a disruption that the, uh, the, between your input and how it's happening on stream, it really takes you out. So the cloud computing is really, really a great uh, option for that because it's distributed 
and it can really cut down on the latency which uh, the metaverse will have. <clears throat> so now, firstly, so now that we've understood it, what are the things you need to understand as the cloud computing professionals? Well, firstly, you need to know what the metaverse is and what it's not. So it's quite uh, amazing that people still are like, they don't know how, what the metaverse is, right? They think it's just a virtual reality game. I mean, uh, and it's not it's not going to impact their businesses. That's completely wrong. You need to understand what the metaverse is, find out what the business models are, uh, how business models are expected to change, and the technologies which will be driving the metaverse, like cloud computing, uh, like blockchain. Uh, and you really need to understand it as a cloud computing professional because it is going to have an impact on uh, your profession in the coming years, okay? Understanding the cybersecurity risks, that's the next thing you need to know. You need to understand what are the potential privacy and cyber security risks that will arise. I made a whole video on that. I'm going to link that in. But the metaverse is going to open a whole new Pandora's box of cyber security risks. You know, businesses will be rushing to adopt it. You will have things like spoofing of digital identities, avatars, security of the VR headsets. Most of these things cyber security professionals do not think about. But you need to get up to speed on this. And like I said, I have a video which I've linked. Do take a look at that. That will really give you a good idea on this. Okay, what else? As the cloud computing guys, you need to understand the use cases for Metaverse. You know why? Because most of these use cases will be applicable to you, right? What are the things your companies can adopt the Metaverse for? I mean, most companies might not buy like digital real estate initially, but for potential for remote meetings, increased collaboration, Zoom might go away and be replaced by Metaverse or Zoom might create their own Metaverse for meetings, right? So are you ready for that? Are you ready for like board meetings to be happening in the Metaverse? Documents to be shared? and stored on the public cloud, uh, personal data being stored on the metaverse. So these things you need to think about and what are the things you need to understand from the security perspective, start thinking about it now, okay? And most importantly, guys, another option, do not fall for the hype. So as the metaverse starts to become a reality, you're gonna see a lot of commercial offerings suddenly coming up from vendors, right? Service providers, they will tell you, we will fast track you onto the metaverse uh, or secure the metaverse for you, please, do not fall for this trap. Understand how the metaverse works first. You need to skill up your own skill force, uh, your own workers first before you adopt the metaverse. So please do not fall for the hype. Do not take the easy way out. First, understand what the metaverse is, how it works, what are risks, and then you go uh, try to outsource or bring in partners in, okay? What is uh, metaverse as a service? So metaverse as a service will 100% happen. It will start popping up as a fully hosted option for companies who want to adopt this technology with the least amount of effort, right? Same thing like software as a service. So as cloud professionals, you need to up update how you do due diligence of these things. What are you gonna look for in the metaverse as a host of services? What are the implications before you to rush to adopt such an option, okay? These are the things you need to keep in mind as cloud computing professionals. And lastly, understand the role which AI will play. If you've been on this channel, you know how much I, importance I give to artificial intelligence and machine learning. I think it is one of the, most important technologies that are going to be coming in the coming years. Understand the role of AI in machine learning. AI will be critical to the success of the metaverse. You know why? Because they go to, there's going to be terabytes of data being generated in the metaverse. And you need things like image recognition, speech recognition, natural language processing to provide users a seamless experience. So AI brings its own set of governance and security risks. And now is the best time to start. Uh, if you, sorry, I just want to plug in. I have a book on AI cybersecurity and governance, which is there in the description of this video and a course also. Either if you're interested in that, do take a look. So I hope you understand now how big of an impact the metaverse will have. It's too early to say how much changes will happen, how much adoption will happen. But the question is how big. It's not if it will happen, it's just how much how much of an impact will happen. The metaverse is going to be depending on the cloud to deliver its promise, right? And as cloud professionals, you need to get ready for this. If you're uh, really uh, want to be like you want to future proof your career things like cloud security artificial intelligence and the metaverse these are the things you need to be focusing on thank you guys i hope this video was useful for you if you liked it please do like and subscribe to this channel so you get notified of new videos thank you and i'll see you in the